Let's say, for example, that we have a transparent graphic like this, and that we want to clip this graphic to a shape such as a circle. This is a problem that can come up when designing transparent graphics for websites, graphical user interfaces, and in video game development. If we use the inherit alpha method, we're going to have a problem. As you can see here, Creator is clipping the graphic like we want, but it's also drawing the layer that we're using as a clipping mask behind our transparent graphic, which is not what we want. What we want is a non-destructive way to clip the transparent graphic such that the background remains transparent. To do this, first we must place the clipping mask on top of the layers that we want to clip. That's because we're going to use a blend mode, and blend modes can only affect layers underneath a layer, not layers above it. Now we change the blend mode from normal to destination in, which is in the mix category. As you can see here, Creator is now clipping the transparent graphic to the circle shape, but it's not drawing the circle anymore. In other words, the color of this layer is completely ignored. Creator is only using its alpha values as a clipping mask. More technically, the effect of the destination in blend mode is that the final alpha value equals the alpha of the top layer multiplied by the alpha of the bottom layers. This means if we change the opacity of our clipping mask to 50%, everything that was 100% opaque before is going to become only 50% opaque because 100% multiplied by 50% is 50%.